Hello and welcome back everyone to Rocket Rabbit Commentary's run-through of the Titanfall 2 campaign and in this episode we'll be continuing on with Beacon, the Beacon as we attempt to, well, go and repair the Beacon. Fracture is a reference to Titanfall 1. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Yes, you're not like you uh, uh, BT Titan has to walk one, through this it? part on his own. They won't let they won't let you uh walk with a BT for this part. And mostly because BT is gonna do an awesome thing here. My scans detect a functioning uplink targeting module, four hundred and twenty eight meters northeast. My analysis indicates a throw is our only option here. I can throw you across the gap. <laughs> I was not designed to be a softball pitcher, but my programming is open, flexible, deploying tactics from lacrosse, highlight, football, playing catch, throwing garbage into a dustbin. Right. We we made it! Yay! Nice, nice use of double jump. But yeah, uh, for the for the entirety of this particular combat session, because yes, there is combat over here, we do not get access to BT. It makes the the steroids that we do get, specifically the stalkers, because yeah, we still have our arc tool on us, uh, are really nice. But at the same point, I'm not good at the combat in this game, so you know, I, I end up dying like once. I think I I don't even remember if I die on screen here, but I do recall that. The <laughs> this combat segment and the combat section immediately afterwards, I have a, I have quite a few problems with. We uh, we got to do a little uh -oh. bit more of a, a Legend of Zelda uh, repositioning of puzzle pieces in order to actually get to the combat section, though. So and it's all right. I mean, what what you're usually supposed to do is just keep moving the crane until it stops because yeah. you probably only have one of two options: is for position A or position B. Mm, well, if it, if it actually allowed us to, we, you know, we would actually have more uh, more options than that uh, th in in this case, most certainly, because you know these uh, these panels and uh, and the cranes uh, quite obviously happen to have uh, signif uh, significantly more uh, stopping points than just that. Yeah, he is crossing the gap with his hook shot. We must take him out on kind of mention. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. Now let our stalkers. Jesus Christ. Uh, let our stalkers deal with the uh, with the other dudes that are over there. Or at the very least, they can draw fire whilst we heal up. We we're, we are actually going up against a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger parody. Um. I don't think we actually deal with Sloan yet. <laughs> no, Richter. Oh yeah, yeah, Richter. Honestly, I think, honestly, I think the majority of these guys are more are more Russian than Austrian, though. No, no, no. This he was he was speaking German. That that was that was definitely German. Had the umlauts and everything. Ah, okay. And boink. Except honestly, I I cannot think of a single time when I caught Arnold Schwarzenegger switching to to his native German because English is his second language. He he is a he is an Austrian immigrant, and we just died. Yeah. I'm not good against Reapers. The Mastiff specifically is actually really good against the Reapers, but I'm not. You should have used Cloak Pilot. I mean, I should have, most again. certainly, but Cloak is, on, uh, Cloak is only uh, uh, is only as good as the pilot using it. So you know, it's it's good. Yes, it's just not it's just not good enough for me because I am terrible. Volt. Ack! Freaking Reapers Whoa. just showing up out of nowhere. Okay. But yeah, the big, the big threat for Cooper should... and the player, huh. and, the, and by extension the player is the re is the uh, Reapers en uh, energy uh, barrage. That thing, uh, that thing will take you from 100 to zero relatively quickly. Especially, I guess that's especially why because we it has pseudo homing properties. Jesus Christ! I missed with my mastiff. <laughs> Uh, oh, here he comes. He's gonna smack you. He's gonna smack you. Is he finally down? He's finally down. He explodes. Yep. 
Okay, that's the end huh, of the first That was wave. satisfying. Checkpoint. Welcome words to my ears. Eyes. Nose. I don't think I've played a game yet that uses an auditory cue to say checkpoint. Don't you mean olfactory? Usually a visual cue. Heh. <laughs> or a smell -o vision uh, It's like, hmm. Smells like a save point. This is our chance. I mean, Solid Snake oh, would wait, totally no, be able to me. smell out safe, uh, safe points. Like, oh shit, that was just me. Oh, oh, god damn, that was some boss. God damn. All right, come on. We're almost there. Just got to get all the way over to the dish. Yeah, we sure to intercept them as soon as it gets in. I'm a kind of not moving. And punch. What are we up against? The fucking. Are we up against like the fucking diehard terrorists where like everybody is a different ethnicity? Uh, <laughs> well, this we are officially in uh, post Earth uh, space uh, spacefaring uh, age, so you know we don't. It's. Uh, I want to say that ethnicity is not an important factor when it comes to the IMC's recruit uh, recruiting methods. Thing is, we still end up fighting a lot of white people, so. <laughs> One day, Mr. Cloud, we will be out of this pandemic, and then and then we are and then we can comment on racial politics some more. Although we don't want to do that either. Yeah. Well, I mean, as as a, as a comment on modern times, yeah, you could totally make the case that white people are making are making the Backstreet Boys reunion concert way more difficult than it needs to be. Yeah, well, all people are, for the record, but you know, white people explicitly. Oh my god, you're right. If everybody died, it would stop the Backstreet Boys reunion tour right in its tracks. This is our chance, everyone. Alright, I gotta activate the other train, which is over here. <sighs> Honestly, this uh, this uh, this section is a bit more is a bit more annoying than it is entertaining to play through, but it is still really inventive. It's just a bit slow. I do. Yeah, come on, we've seen this archetype. We have before. seen this archetype before, Whee. but you know, jump. this time we're actually Whee. moving the panels around instead of instead of uh, oh double jump uh, instead of just you know we're move, we're actively participating in the level construction as opposed to you know just going along with what uh, what uh, is uh, already there in static. On. Climb up the cylinder. Yeah. There we go. And all the way around. Come on. I'm afraid that Kilo 1 4 will not be responding for the rest of his life. Mm, well, for the remainder of your life, rather. Hmm. All right, I do believe. Yeah, we are officially at the uh, the ma uh, the first of two major uh, combat segments. Ooh, we found another pilot helmet. Six of nine. I don't know where the. Uh, I know that one of them, um, one of the pilot helmets, I actually spend a small amount of time uh -oh. during the next level attempting to get. But like, um, yes, Mr. Cloud. Oh, I thought we were inside the chat. No, that's right. The door is still sealed. We're trying to get those uh, scaredy cats inside the door. They're hiding away, thinking they'll be safe. The, what they don't expect is that I'm about to stick a fucking uh, rum flare up their bungholes and then watch it spark out their asses. Okay. Just nice and casual like. Boink! And punch! Yeah, you. Well, at least oh. these guys are actually wearing helmets. No, my, uh, the big thing about the hemlock is that if you're not aiming down the sights, the uh, the spread fire that it that it gradually builds up to is just unusable. You really need to be fo you really need to be uh, aiming down the sights on the hemlock in order for it to actually you know stay uh, uh, 
a stay uh, at all valuable. I I want to turn on that stalker, but we're not allowed to turn on that stalker till the next uh, combat se uh, section starts. God damn it! You know, you just you you know that the game is just waiting to reach a scripted point in order to use Here's it. You the try doing it section. anyway. Say, is this the part where I can turn on the stalker? They're okay, gonna drop three I'm reapers gonna use in the on stalker us. now. Uh, God so damn it. before, uh, so before they actually drop all three reapers in on you, I recommend running around and activating all the stalkers that you can, because the stalkers at the very least can do a little bit of damage to the reapers and make it so that you uh, that you don't have to fight the re uh, you don't have to fight the reapers um, effectively on your own. Nine. Mm. Mm. We push. Yep, we uh, we move the dish into place to make it so that we can actually get over there via a double jump, and then the reapers show up. Satellite is in position. And the backup that he sends is, is three reapers. Ack! He seriously just freaking spawned in on top of us. It was not nice of him. Oh, not these guys again. This guy loves playing high five. Problem is, we're not very good at the high five game. He's almost down. All right, that Reaper is down. Got Where's him. the next one? Pop. Yeah. There's. No, oh no, that's a. That's just infantry units. Boink. Chakoof, chakoof. Chakoof. Is it just a bunch of infantry and a single Reaper? I could have swore that there was at least two Reapers that we had to fight for this segment. It's. It's been uh, several months. It's been like two, three months since I uh, since I recorded this. So. Oh dear, I believe something has happened. Master Luke, are you okay? Mm. C3PO, you and R2D2 need to be more active during this movie, damn it. We're trying, sir, but we cannot simply find the vessel without some assistance. Perhaps if we try talking peacefully. Mm. Okay. And there, he's down, and then he's down. I see the blue energy uh, uh, up, up in the atmo uh, up in the greater atmosphere, so I assume that the, the, the other Reaper is still here. But I guess we didn't have to fight him. All right. Mm. Whoosh. Got it. Oh, you think it's that simple? Uh, it almost is that simple. Ah, no! I didn't wait. I didn't wait for the, tutorial, uh, for the for uh, the guided uh, for the guided mission to show up. So now we gotta. Go. Well, that was a. That was, <laughs> did Did you edit that, or is it really I that fast? I did not. Thankfully, the checkpoint is right there. All right, Ghost Runner. Is it just a double jump? It is just a double, just a double jump. Whoosh! Like so. I mean, I could have told you that. No, that's, a, that's yeah, okay. but I, I wanted, I, I wanted to run across, uh, uh, across the uh, the beacon because you know it's the primary, it's the primary centerpiece of the entire level. I would like to interact with it slightly more. On our way, BT. Not anti tight. <laughs> Cooper, I am a Titan. They are sending anti-Titan squads. Some assistance from non-Titan units is required. Well, here's the thing, BT. Those, an uh, those anti-Titan units are effectively just a bunch of Reapers. You can take those out. I promise. Ah! I'm engaging hostile infantry. Uh, in there is actually another one of the pilot helmets that I already have. But yeah, we're supposed to t we're supposed to take the uh, IMC. Uh, uh, grapple line down. Surprise, motherfucker. This is not a drill. And boink. Alright. 
and in the next episode, we will start off. Uh, we will start off with what is uh, arguably Welcome the most uh, complicated pi uh, pilot and uh, and Titan segment in the entire game. At least for me. Be safe, everybody. As uh, we get uh, ripped apart by the reapers that are already out here. Oh, is that easy to get the bacon? <laughs>